Messi. <clears throat> hey, yo, what's up, guys? Baby Bear forty eight twelve coming at you once again. Uh, today we're gonna be solving the uh, top K frequent words um, problem on Lead Code problem six nine two. It's a popular one uh, being asked by Amazon, Facebook, Bloomberg, Google. Amazon really loves this one apparently, um, and so I figured it would be uh, it, it would be appropriate to go over it now. If you haven't tried it, give the video a pause, give it a shot, come back. Uh, but for those of you who have, uh, let's let's have a quick look at it, just refresh uh, our understanding of the problem, uh, which is that you're given a, a non-empty list of words and you have to return the K most frequent elements. Uh, your answer should be sorted on frequency from highest to lowest. And then it says that if you've uh, if you got through the same frequencies, then we have to sort it alphabetically. So two kind of two sorting factors there. Okay. So if we get, you know, I love leak code, I love coding, and we're looking for the two most popular words, uh, we'd get I and, and love are two most frequent words. Uh, we'd get I and love, and I comes before love alphabetically, so that's how we're gonna do it. Um, okay. The day is sunny, the the sunny is, is K is four. We get the is sunny day. I think that makes sense. Like it, it's not an easy, question, but it's easy to understand, I'd argue. So, okay, how do we even go about approaching this one and, and thinking about it? Well, we're, we're going to need to be, get a bit clever with our, our data structures. Um, and, and, and there are kind of two things I want to draw your attention to. The first one is actual frequency. So whenever you hear that we've got to collect the frequency of something, your head should immediately go to, uh, oh my God, dictionary or, or hash table. Uh, so. We're, we're going to need to in some way take all these words, uh, store their, their frequencies, and then go on from there. So I, I think that's kind of the, the slightly more obvious part. The one that is uh, less trivial, I'd argue, is about actually now grabbing the ones with the most frequency. Um, now, if it's not immediately obvious, I would, I would highly suggest that you familiarize yourself a bit with the heap data structure and, and the heap is actually what we're going to be using to solve this problem and, and let me tell you why. Uh, it, in, kind of specifically speaking, uh, a heap is, it, it looks like a tree actually, I, I put it up here, it's almost like a, a, a form of, of tree or a graph where um, this is an example of a, of a max heap where the, the maximum value that we have is going to be at the top and then kind of smaller values will, will be dispersed throughout the, the rest of the, of the graph. Um, we have min heaps and, and max heaps. And so, uh, like I said, if you guys aren't familiar with this data structure, um, have a look at it, you know, study up on it. I don't have a video of it just yet. I might in the future. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. But in the meantime, what we're basically going to need to do is to say, let's get all the words that, that are in this kind of input. Uh, we'll take them, we'll put them in a dictionary. And from the dictionary, we're going to need to create a heap. Um, and, and, and from that heap, we're then going to pull as many as we need from the, from the top for the most frequent ones uh, and pop those into result and, and that'll kind of take care of it. So I'll, I'll walk through kind of a manual example, but just to, to, to kind of give you the steps, maybe we'll, I can just write them out in the comments. We have some structure. We'd, we'd have something like in our, our standard error checking, then we would do create dictionary, then we would say create heap and then return top K results from heap. That'll be the general structure we take. So what I've done is I've, I've copied over that, that second example and, and seen what this will look like. Um, what we'll do is as we walk through, we create a dictionary where we're going to get a few things here. So first we see the word the, and it looks like the word the comes up one, two, three, four times. Then we see the word day, and then day will come up. Let's see, uh, just once. Then we're going to have is, and is comes up one, two, three times. And finally, we've got sunny. Sunny comes up twice. Twice. Okay. So this will be the dictionary that we have. Then we're actually going to need to create the, the heap. And so we'll, we'll be using the heap queue library in Python, which, uh, which does that for us. I won't kind of be building one from scratch in this video. Um, the thing that, that we'll need to kind of take into account, though, with this heap is you know, we, we got to do two things. We got to say again, we got to know what the word is and then what the frequency of that word is. So we might need to think to ourselves when we're, when we're creating these, these heap nodes, we, we might, we'll probably need to store both of these pieces of information. And, 
The reason we have to do that is because again, when we pop it off, we're going to want to have a heap based on the frequency of the word, but we're going to need to know the word itself as well. Okay. So again, that's why it'll be important. And, and we'd have something that looks, you know, like, um, we have the word the, you know, maybe, maybe we have the word the, and then, and then a number four. I, I apologize for my penmanship as always. Um, next we have day and you know, day I'll, I'll just denote it with the D. Uh, comes up once and then is comes up three times and then finally we've got I guess sunny okay sunny comes up uh, twice now what we're going to need to do is we're essentially gonna need to say you know we're let's once we've created this heap let's pop off the numbers off the top and then uh, we're gonna want this item to to be there now because we want kind of the next frequent the next most frequent one to be at the top and and then uh, I guess this is sunny, and and so sunny will go at the top, and then day. And as we're as we're popping them off, as I said, that's how we're going to store them uh, in our actual final result. So I hope that approach makes sense. Um, let, let's try to give the the code a shot now, and and just to kind of see it in the flesh now. So uh, first thing we said is we want to do some some sort of error checking, and I think what we'll do is we'll just say you know if we don't get any words. Or if we, maybe if, if k is zero, um, or or let's say k is less than or equal to, to zero, something silly like that, then we will just return an empty output. Otherwise, let's go through the rest of the code. Um, so creating the dictionary, I, I know you can do this with collections. Um, I'm, I'm just gonna use a more kind of I guess primitive uh, method, and I'll I'll kind of do it manually and say. Uh, words dict is this dictionary and we'll say for, for every word in words if it's already in the words dictionary if word is in words dict then we'll, we'll take the words dict in, in that specific uh, word and we'll add one to its frequency and then we'll say else words dict of that word is equal to one because we're, we're kind of seeing it for the first time okay so far so good again I think this is kind of the, uh, the more obvious part of the, of the question. Um, now, let's have a look at what we're gonna do with the heap. So, to actually create the heap, when we're, when we're doing this in Python, what we're going to need to do is we're gonna have to say, uh, we need to take an array. Really, we wanna now put all these items into an array, and then we're going to what's called heapify that, that array. Uh, so, I'll, I'll, I'll just call it heap, and then um, we'll say heap equals some array, and, you know, let's let's think about this again. We we essentially need to keep two things. Uh, we need to keep the the frequency and the word itself. So again, I think a tuple is a nice structure here that'll that'll allow us to keep both of those pieces of information when we are going to eventually heapify. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say maybe we'll we'll take the frequency and we'll take the word, uh, and we'll do this for every word and every frequency uh, within words dick dot. Uh, item. So this is actually going to grab every key value pair at a time. It'll look at the word, which is the, the key and the frequency, which is the value, and we'll, we'll put in this nice tuple. Now, there's a trick here that this one is a bit more Python specific, but I, I do need to kind of make it clear uh, that the, the, heap, the default heap structure within, uh, within Python is a min heap, which means that it'll sort the smallest elements at the top and then larger ones down below. Uh, we want to max heap though because we want to know what the most frequent word is. So uh, I'd encourage you actually, maybe if you if you want to pause the video if you're not sure how to do this yet, think about it for a minute or two because it's uh, it's pretty clever. But essentially, if we want to have the if we know that we have a a, a min heap, but we kind of want to turn it into a max heap, uh, the cheeky thing to do would just be to negate the frequency. And so if uh, if your most frequent word comes up five times, let's say that'll be negative five within this heap, meaning that it'll now be at, at the top of the min heap because, well, it'll be the smallest value. So uh, that's a, just like a nifty little trick that you, can, that you can use there. And now simply we are just, um, what we're gonna do is we'll call uh, heapq.heapify the heap, which will just actually create the, the min heap. And it does this in place. Okay, so what was once an array is now is now a heap. It does it in place, so it's not using uh, any extra memory. What's more, what's really nice about this, um, and I, I, yeah, I, I neglected to say this earlier, but it is, you know, I, I'm not sure if it's a almost like a, a bit of a life hack here, but when we're in this heapify function, when, when we're putting these 
uh, tuples in, it will actually sort it first by frequency and then by word. Meaning that this condition that we have here of, of two words having the same frequency, then the, the lower alphabet uh, or the lower alphabetical order has to come first, um, that'll be taken care of for us. And so this is how, you know, this is what kind of allows us to see, sorry, is what allows us to, to remain within those conditions. So it's a, a really nice trick here to use for Python. Now, what we've got to actually do is, is return some sort of result. And so uh, we can create some, some result array. And what we want to do is we want to grab the first K items from the heap. But all we're going to want to do is just is grab the word, not the frequency. We don't want an entire tuple coming in, right? So what we're going to say is, is our result is going to be, um, we use the list comprehension here. So we'll say it'll be equal to the heap Q dot um, heap pop is the, is the, the function that we want to use. And we're going to be popping from the heap and that'll, that'll give us a tuple. And we want the second item in the tuple. So we'll index it at one because all we want is the word and we're going to do this K time. So we'll say for underscore in, uh, in range K. And then we want to return the result. Uh, simply actually, you know, we might be a bit more clever and, and kind of do that in, in one line. So that should work. Let me just uh, run it and make sure that I didn't mess anything up. But there we go. Uh, so it worked and, and submitted correctly. As you can see, I've, I've tested this one before a lot. Um, yeah, so that was the top K frequent words problem. If you have any questions or any bit of it was unclear, do let me know in the comments down below. I'd like to clarify and make sure that you guys are, are getting good value out of these, out of these videos. Um, otherwise, as always, like, comment, subscribe, share, all that fun stuff. Uh, any other questions you want me to do next, drop them in the comments below and I'm happy to do them. See you next time.